for that, we're gonna call up her evaluator. Rumor has it the evaluator is one of the best looking people here. Oh, it's me. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be evaluating Nandar. This is her third speech. Second. Second speech. Wow, all right. She's sandbagging. She knows how to speak. Her speech is titled, The Power of Vision. Good afternoon, Toastmaster, dear guest, and our beloved members. Today, I'm so excited to, pr to present about the power of vision. I had a chance to learn about that since I was very young. Before I'm talking about that, I want to ask you who use Google Map or any navigation system to get to their destination. I use it almost every day <coughs> when I get to the new place, of course. <coughs> so just like this system, there is a one very interesting and compelling and sophisticated system we possess that is our mind. Whatever images and information and knowledges that we put into our brain will be processed out very accurate manner and it will give back to you and as a result. So I learned that when I was 22 years old. That time, my parents has gone through a very severe divorce. I fell into my first depression. And I do not want to work and run away from the reality because I was depressed. <laughs> and at the time, I'm, luckily, I, met, I found a book from Arthur L. William. The title of the book is called, All You Can Do Is All You Can Do, and All You Can Do Is Enough. In that book, he explained about the power of vision. I have to decide and know what I want to accomplish and do, and also contribute in the future. So then I write down everything. My vision was to live in the New York City with my family, to travel the whole world, to teach people to meditate, and also set up meditation center and help many people. Right now, I haven't set up any meditation center yet. I'm now a meditation coach and trainer in New York City and living most of the vision that I have written down for 20 years ago. So I wanted to now present about the three benefits of having your clear vision of it. The first is, my clear vision of knowing where I want to go gives me courage and motivation. It's helped me to come out of my depression at that time very quickly and also overcome many difficulties and crises that I have faced along my way. The second advantage is this, I, this vision helped me to come out, I mean, to try new things and so that I have developed many skills and ability that I didn't know that even existed. In 2005, I went to Germany alone with no money and without any skill set. But I was so determined to try everything and to be, developed, uh, to be uh, successful in a developed country. So out of it, I learned how to sell, how to make presentation professionally. And also, I learned German and really become successful in the investment market in Germany. The third advantage that I have because of my clear vision is I have a joy, a sense of joy in my purpose. Because I know that why I have to wake up early in the morning. Then it gives me motivation, it also gives me happiness. As I have developed my, um, my own clear vision, I want to give you a compelling advice Four components, that is what you all need to create your own vision. The first is, ask yourself and clearly what your interests and hobby are. Life should be a joyful experience and it is not a, war, uh, it is not a word to fight for. So when you know what you are interested in, 
and then you also motivated to try and go for it. The second component is your hero or your ideal person. In my case, I really like Buddha and Jesus when I was young. I find them sexy, <laughs> and I and now I like Oprah, and I like Brian Tracy, and I like Deepak Chopra. I want to possess that kind of skill set that they have, and I wanted to become one like like that. The third is the people. Who do you want to serve? In other words, who do you want? Who will get advantage out of your goal? when you are living your vision. In my case, I see that my mother and my sibling will be really proud of me. I'll be able to support them financially, emotionally, and mentally. And the fourth, that's last but not least, it is about your emotions and feeling. How will you be feeling when you are living your vision? In my case, I want you free from all the negative emotions of fear, guilt, worries, and I wanted to have a feeling of joy, peace, and freedom. So with all these components, four components of your interest, your hero, your people, and also your feeling and emotion, you will be able to create your own compelling vision. So in, in that position, I want to suggest you to use this kind of images to write down that, and you can image and visualize yourself. It's called visualization technique. See yourself that you are living your dream already, that though you are not there. You can do that early in the morning as soon as you wake up and before you fall asleep. That exercise alone can change your life. So please remember that you have possessed the most interesting and precious resources <coughs> in this whole world. That is your mind. So make the best use of it. And try to create your own clear vision to enlash your superhero power. Thank you. Thank you, Nandar. One minute to fill out the feedback.